Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to show you how to update the firmware in your kid charge controller. To do this we're going to need a, a computer, either Windows based or Linux based, not Macintosh. We're going to need a USB cable, standard USB to mini B, B as in boy. Very common cable, comes with most digital cameras, etc. Once you've got these two devices, we're going to go over and show you how to update the actual firmware on the kid. So we take the USB cable and we look in the kid and there's a port in the bottom of the kid. The USB cable is keyed, it'll only go one way, it slides right in. Just like that, the USB cable is already hooked up to my computer. Now we're going to push some buttons on the menu here. We're going to go to the main menu. We're going to scroll all of the way to the right to the tech menu, I believe it's called. We're going to enter into that menu. And we're going to scroll down until we find firmware update. At this point, I'm going to press the enter button and my computer screen is going to pop up a box that looks like a thumb drive. And there it is on my computer screen. So at this point, I've already got the file right here, mnkid underscore firmware. I'm simply going to drag that in there. You're going to see the box is going to go away, and then the kid is going to say updating. And it's going to count up from 2%. As soon as you see a percentage, the computer is done. You could actually unplug the USB cable now. There's no problem. This is going to count up. It's going to go through to 100%. Depending on the firmware revision, the kid may actually do a factory restore at this point if it's needed. Um, if it's not needed, it's not going to do it, but if you feel like you want to do that, then you can go into the menu and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I should note in the beginning I didn't tell you this, but it's a good idea to write down any custom settings because if a, if a factory restore is done, you are going to lose all of your custom settings, so those should be jotted down ahead of time. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time. We're uh, at about 51%. But that's basically how you do a firmware update on a kid. When it's done, it's going to go through its own cycle, and it's going to come right back and go to work. You don't have to intervene unless it did a factory restore, and then you've got to program in the charging parameters, etc. So as you can see, when the firmware update was done, the controller rebooted, came right back to a state that's ready to go back to work. It's resting right now because we don't have any PV hooked up to it. If you did have PV, it would simply go right back to work. So until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.